everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jay Fong here. And firstly, I want to apologize for being away for the past few weeks, but I am back. I am back in a slightly different setting. This is still my normal room. I've just shifted everything around a little bit and I am still trying to figure out what actually works best because I, I'm not loving the setup, but I also don't know how else to shift you guys. So in the next few videos, you will probably see me just doing like micro shifts around the room. I hope you guys are okay with that, but let's just jump right into what we're going to be talking about today. As usual, I made lots of notes because today we're talking about the new Chanel authentication. So what is new about Chanel's authentication? For those of you guys who do not follow the luxury news, this has been bubbling up for the past few months, if not a year now, that Chanel is moving away from their authentication cards and even holograms and moving into this microchip that is inside their leather goods. So if you have been purchasing bags in the past few weeks, um, the past season, that's where they launched the new microchips that's inside small leather goods and handbags. I do not own anything that's new from this past collection, so I don't have anything physical to show you. So to know what Chanel is doing with these little gold plates, we have to go back a few months to earlier this year in 2021, the three big luxury conglomerates, LVMH, Prada, and Richmond Group recently announced their alliance with Aurora Blockchain. What is a blockchain? What is a blockchain doing in the luxury world? Simply put, a blockchain is just a system of storing information that is virtually impossible to edit. Blockchains basically stores each transaction or information in blocks and then is chained up. Every time something new happens within a transaction, it creates a new block that's been added to this blockchain. So you can think of a blockchain as kind of like a digital ledger that stores all of the transaction information in there. It can also store information anywhere from the creation to the distribution to the actual transaction of the product. And think of it as like a ledger. So, you know, back in the day, people will write all their transactions on a notebook. Think of it as a digital ledger. They store all the information in there. And every time a new transaction or information goes with that specific item, a new block gets added to that chain. But this makes it virtually impossible for any hacker to just try and change anything within that blockchain because in order to change one thing, you have to change the entire blockchain. So hopefully what this means for the consumer is that this ID or this chip that's being implanted into all of your bags and small leather goods just makes it that much more impossible for people to replicate or even counterfeit. So I have been seeing a lot of questions and even skepticism on forums. Like, is Chanel gonna all of a sudden track me everywhere I go? No, this is definitely not what the microchip is intended to do. If anything, the microchip is just intended to help give an extra layer of security for when you are purchasing your bag so you know exactly where the bag has been, where it's been transacted before, and where it's going now. The question still is whether consumers like us day to day are able to access more information from these microchips. So that I do not have information on yet, but this is just an added layer. So think of the past like Chanel stickers and holograms or even all these little things that you've picked up on the internet on how to authenticate a bag. This is just one extra step to help you authenticate a Chanel bag in the future. Now, obviously all the bags that were made prior to 2021 will still have the hologram stickers, all of the authentication cards, that you will still need to go through a few different authenticators just to make sure any bags that you buy in the pre-love market is in fact authentic. But with this new microchip, hopefully it makes it so much easier for us to purchase any bags that are 2021 and newer, that they will in fact be authentic. So what does this mean for us? For the consumer, really, it doesn't really mean anything. It just means that in your purchase now, you won't be getting an authenticity card, which is okay because in the bag itself, there is the microchip and also the tag that comes to the bag also has a QR code that's supposed to have a serial number that's tied to 
your bag itself. Really, this is just a great security for anybody who is buying pre-loved Chanel bags in the future. What does this mean for the pre-loved market? Well, obviously counterfeit is still gonna be in play. People are still gonna try and create counterfeits and sell counterfeits in the pre-loved market. That's just always going to be what it is. But Chanel and along with all these other luxury companies are really heavying up and fighting against these counterfeits. And I also think that another reason why Chanel and all these other luxury companies are also buying into this blockchain or microchip is really to help with the resale market or deter these resellers. And when I'm talking about resellers, I'm talking about there are definitely people who go to Chanel or luxury brands to buy up on-demand products and completely just raise the prices up in the resale market. Nobody likes it. I mean, we do pay a premium sometimes for really hard to find items but again this just helps Chanel and us sift out who those people are and so for all of us who are really looking to grow our collection and just love the brand we are able to enjoy the brand for what it is without the fear of counterfeits or resellers completely just jacking up the prices in the resale market so this is just an extra step in providing consumers an extra level of security so that is all the information that I have right now. Again, this microchip idea is still really new and I think a lot of consumers are really still trying to figure out what this means to us, but hopefully this doesn't create any panic. Chanel is not gonna be tracking you, don't worry. And hopefully this is just a peace of mind for us moving forward that the bags that we're gonna purchase 2021 and on is going to be very easy to help us authenticate without doing all these crazy authentication process and still might not be an authentic bag. So that is everything I have for you guys today. Please leave it in the comment section below. If you guys have purchased anything from the new collection and have seen the gold plate, what does it look like? Is it weird? Um, is Has it been a weird process for you guys buying new bags without actually physically holding something like an authentication card? Or has it just been a really seamless process? And let me know in the comment section below if you guys are worried about anything moving forward with this chip and how companies are going to be using this chip. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!